Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Coach Nolita 19 and I have mine here in the pink lemonade color and the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. So if you're interested in this comparison, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's go over some details about the Coach Nolita 19. Again, I have mine in the pink lemonade color with the signature print. Now, this is a new item I just got, so I have not used her yet. She still has the price tag on her. I typically don't take off my price tag off my items until I'm ready to wear them. So that's a front and back shot of this item. And let me adjust the lighting just in case that's too bright. All right, so there we go with some adjustment of the lighting. Now you can get an actual look at that color. It has a bubblegum pink color, gold hardware. It has the strap you can convert and use as either a shoulder bag or a wristlet. The inside is this beautiful burgundy color. So it's not the dark color, which gives you the option to be able to see inside the bag. Has the slip pocket there. And it has the card slots over here where you can add in your bank cards, whatever cards you want to add in these pockets. Very simple, very basic bag. If you are familiar with the Pochette Accessoire from Louis Vuitton, not to say that this is copied off of that, but this is modeled very similar to that and I'll put the dimensions up of this piece on the screen so that you can see how large this item actually is so next we have the pochette accessoire now I have mine in the Damier Azure I also have this one in the monogram print but I'm going to compare it to this one today there's a front and back shot of that the inside let's open her up this one comes with the cream color interior and that is the strap that goes to this here as you can see very simple plain on the inside just comes with that one slip pocket unlike the coach all right but very still spacious nonetheless let me zip that up and compare these two side by side all right, so doing a side-by-side -side comparison, I'll show from the front first so that you can get an idea of how these are looking. And sorry about that tag being in the way, but here, these items are right next to each other. So you can see that the Louis Vuitton still has about an inch, inch and a half, if you're looking from the bottom to the top on the length of the Nolita 19. The depth of the item or width. The coach is actually slightly larger. The bottom base of the coach is slightly larger. Then as it tapers to the top, let's see if I can move that. You can see it's still larger on the coach, but they both have a good width on the items. The bottom base. Now, this Louis Vuitton one is a little smushed because there's nothing in there. The Coach one has a lot more structure to the bag than the Louis Vuitton one, but you can see there, it still has some pliability to the canvas. So you can stretch this item out. You'll see how it comes out on the sides there. So it's not restrictive at all. There you go. And here's a top view of these two you can see how the Louis Vuitton is longer I'll turn it that way so you can see so let's talk about this coach one first as I stated before this has a lot more structure even though it is canvas coach has put some type of basing in here on the bottom to allow this to be a little bit more structure and you can see that has some good reinforcement there on the bottom and while it does sag, it's not a bad sag. It's actually very okay and very comfortable for the items that you may put in here. Very cute. I love that. 
Now, some of Coach's items, when it comes to the strap, you'll see some have the chain strap and then some have this leather strap. I wish that the strap was removable altogether to give you the option of adding a chain strap where this wouldn't be in the way. But one of the things I've seen other YouTubers do, Miss Percival, she's shown this with her videos. If you take this strap, kind of hook it this way, and then fold it over. So you can hook it like that, and then you can fold the strap backwards like this. And just tuck it up under the bag like this okay I saw her do that and I said oh that's really creative that's really neat so you can put that like that up under the bag and then that's out of the way that allows you the ability to put a different chain on here you can wear a crossbody a different strap on here to wear it as a shoulder strap as a shoulder bag so you have a lot of options with this bag right here one of the things I like about the Coach ones is that you get a lot of versatility in terms of their patterns. Like they have a lot of different prints when it comes to the canvas, a lot of different materials. And I love that on this, the piping on this matches the pink in the bag. All right, so I love that. I love the leather tabs of it. The detailing on this is really nice. Coach has their names on the tabs. They have their name on the rings here. Of course, the hang tag, which they are known for. They have their coach name on the little dot here that kind of opens up this clasp. So a lot of details has gone into this bag here. And let's talk about the Louis Vuitton signature. Louis Vuitton with the Damier Azure. You recognize this checker print everywhere. Has their tab here with their name and where it's made. This one is made in France. And then it has the ring here. It has the Louis Vuitton on the zipper pull. And then, again, nothing on the inside. If this was made in the U.S., this would have the leather pull tab on the inside that would say made of, like, imported materials. But that's just this here. This one is pliable. It's soft. You can add a lot of items to this, and you can pack this baby up, and it will look okay even if it's distorted. I will put some items in here to kind of show you what I'm talking about. But this one is very straightforward. I love the canvas i think that this checkered color is so beautiful and pinks really complement this color or this design very well so i love as you can see my nails i love to wear this with like light pink colors tans neutrals but keep in mind that this will get color transfer very easy if you try to wear this with like jeans or black something very dark or something that will bleed with those dye colors that comes out of it so you want to be very careful with uh, what you're wearing this with. Now that will also happen to this because the color is light. So you do have to be careful with what you're wearing this with. So I do want to caution you with that. Now let's talk price. We all know Louis Vuitton items are very expensive. This currently retails for $1,290. Back in the day, if you got an older one or you got one before all these price increases, you may have gotten yours from the $500, $600, $700 price range. I paid $6.90. I think I paid $6.90 for this before the price went up. Right after I bought this, the price went up like the following week. So I think I paid $6.90 for this. Then the price went up. And this one, I paid $56 and something cents. So with tax, I paid like $61 with this one here. Now, I had it before. I paid $44. Again, if you saw that video where I regret returning that and I had to buy it again. So when I bought it again, it wasn't on sale. So it is what it is. That's the price that I paid to have this cutie back in my collection. All right, you guys. So let's talk a little bit about capacity and what these bags hold. So I'm going to start off with the Louis Vuitton item here. I do have her stuffed and you can see from the profile how she's looking and how the items are not even all the way on the bottom. And that's just because of what I have in the bag. So let me open her up and show you how I have it stuffed. You hear that that slid open very nicely and you can see from the items. I have quite a few items in here. So I'll start off with the top 
right here on the top. This is my phone. I have a large case and this is a, a larger than normal case that I would have on my phone. This one is more boxier. So I have a large case, fits in there very nicely, very comfortable. Okay, and then I have a, whoa, whoa, and then I have a full-size wallet. Now, the unique thing about this, even though it's full-size, it is a tri-fold wallet. So you can see, here's what the wallet looks like opened. It's like the Victorine wallet. So it does have some width on there once you pack in your cards. I took mine out for this video. Show you what's left. Now, typically you would not have a wallet and a card holder, but I wanted to show you what fits in here. So I do have a card holder in here. Maybe you need some space for extra cards. I don't know. I do have in here my keys. So if you have a key holder, this fits a nice full-size one. And I have a few odds and ends. I have a mask in there. It's my mask. I have some lip gloss, lipstick, and a perfume. So here are those three items. Lip gloss, lipstick, and perfume. And then she is empty. Alright you guys, so here is my coach Nolita. And again, I already have her stuff with the items. And I'll show you these items and I'll tell you the difference of the capacity of what this bag can hold. Let me show you. So you probably can't see much because my mask is there on the top. I'm going to go ahead and move the mask so that you can see what other items I have in here. I have basically all the same items with the exception of this wallet. This wallet is too large to fit in here with these other items. So I'll take out the first being my phone have my phone again larger case than I would normally have but it still fits in here very comfortably and I'll show you the other items and again with this because it has card slots you do not need a card holder but if you are used to carrying a card holder that fits in there really comfortably so I have a card holder and then I have my keys so these key holders can hold cards behind them. So if you're making use of that, that's an extra way to save on space. Use that extra card holder slot. Put a card in there. And the other odds and ends in there are my perfume, my lip gloss, and my lipstick. Have those right here. And she is empty. Overall, if you don't have a Louis Vuitton item and you're looking to get one in your collection, this is a really good price point, I think, still for Louis Vuitton items, especially since you can carry this as a purse or a catch-all. So this one is the highly coveted one that everyone still tries to get because of the flexibility of this item. If Louis Vuitton is out of your budget, your price range, you definitely want to consider a, a Nolita 19 for your collection. I have a few of these so I love having the flexibility of the checker print and then going with some color I prefer to get my Nolitas in color I don't like like the black ones or the neutral tan ones so all of mine have some type of coloring or something to it alright you guys that is it for this video if you have any questions about either of these items let me know if you have either of these items chime in and let us know which items you have and how you're loving it how do you use your items as always thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video alrighty bye